Hello boys and girls and welcome to another assembly. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Reverend Graham and it's such a pleasure to be able to do an assembly even if I can't come to your school personally and instead we'll have to use the magic of technology to explore our topic today. Now today I want to talk to you about a really important topic. It comes up at this time of year but I don't want to make it easy for you. I wonder if we can play a game. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some pictures. They're going to appear on the screen just slowly and they're going to be all about our topic. So what I want you to do for our game is when you think you know what our topic might be, I want you to put your hand up in the air. Don't say a word. Just put your hand up and we'll see how long it takes for everyone to guess what the topic today is. So are you ready? Let's go. So are you ready, boys and girls? Here comes the pictures. They're going to come quick. Get your fingers ready. Oh, apples. What could the topic be? Oh, there's a machine. I wonder what that does. OK, some food, some straw. Oh, two people. I wonder what job they do. And some food. Huh. So here are all our clues. Look at them. I wonder what our topic today is going to be. We've got pictures of food at the top and down at the bottom. There's some straw. There's two people that seem to have a certain job. I wonder what job they do. And then right in the top corner is a combine harvester. That's a big clue. Has everyone worked out what our topic is today? Everyone's hands should be in the air if you have. Maybe the teacher would like to pause right now just to see if anyone's got the right answer. So the answer is three, two, one. It's harvest time. Did you get it right? If you did, well done. And if you had a go, well done. For you, I've got a little prize. I'll use my magic button here. Boop. Hear that? That's just for you guys to play. Well done. Now, harvest time is a really important time of year. You see, harvest is a time where we remember all the farmers who are gathering in all the food they've grown over the spring and summer, who are storing that food away so that that food can be available through the winter months. It's a good time to give thanks for farmers and for farms all over the world who help provide enough food so that everyone can eat. It's also a great time of year to give thanks to all the adults who help us have enough food as well. Our adults at home, the staff who work in the school kitchens, and everyone who helps make sure we've got enough food at school as well. It's also a great time of year to give thanks for all the shop workers and lorry drivers and factory workers who make sure that there's enough food for us all to eat when we need it, even in the coldest, darkest days of winter. But there's a problem. You see, for many people, they don't have enough food to eat. They don't maybe have enough money to buy their own food. They maybe go hungry. Maybe there are people you know who've had to go hungry because there's been no food in the house. And that's really sad. One of the key beliefs of Christians and many other groups is that everybody, everybody deserves a meal. So for many years now, one of the things that churches across the world have done and other organisations is they have provided things called food banks. Now, a food bank isn't like a normal bank where you just get lots of money. A food bank is where people who don't have enough food to feed themselves for whatever reason, and we don't worry what those reasons are, for whatever reason, can come to the food bank, they can get the food they need, and then they can get home, and hopefully next time they need to go to the shops, they would have been had just that chance to get enough money to go and get themselves a meal. Now, I did say at the beginning of this video that unfortunately I can't be there with you, which is a shame. However, because we can use the magic of technology, instead of just telling you about a food bank, how about we go visit one? 
Now, if we're going to use the magic of technology, boys and girls, I'm going to need your help. So what I want you to do is we're going to go visit a food bank, but I need you to help teleport me there. So I'm going to count to three, and at the end of three, I want you to say really loudly, food bank. Okay? So we'll give it a go, see what happens. One, two, three, food bank! Oh, whoa, something's happening. Oh, we're here. Oh, yep, St. Thomas's. And there's the food bank. Let's see, let's go see what's going on. Hello! Welcome to the food bank, are you here for a food parcel? No, I've, I've brought the boys and girls with me. I just want to show them that you needn't be scared to come in a food bank and just exactly what's going on. Can we have a little tour, is that okay? Absolutely, come in here. Thank you very much. I'll take you into one of our storage cupboards, just okay. this way. This is one of our first storage cupboards, so this is where we pack all of our parcels when people come in. And this one's used for mainly extras, so wow. people get sort of a choice, like either pasta or rice or tea and coffee. And then we'll, we'll start here and just pack some of the extras when people do come in. Well, it's not just food, is it? There's loads no. of toilet rolls and soaps and everything you can possibly need everything so we do try to help people as much as we can so mm -hmm. things like toilet leaves and toilet roll and even um washing powder to clean clothes things that people don't really think of but we do try and help in every way we can oh that's amazing mm -hmm. Can we um, go see some of the other volunteers? You can, I'll just take you this way. All right, thank you. Well, so here's another storage area, Kimberly. Mm -hmm. And so what, what do we have in here? Well, this is our second storage area, and this is mainly where we store all of our tins and also our cereals as well. And we have wow. one of our volunteers here who's busy storing all of our donations that people have generously donated uh, to us. So, so these are donations from today, aren't they? They are just from today. That's amazing. So these are mainly from our local community. Mm -hmm. People have been kind enough, especially in this crisis, to donate all of this food, which is fantastic. That's awesome. Thanks very much. And thank you. Thank you, um, Lee, as well, for helping with that. Um, thank you. And um, is it okay if we ask some questions? Yeah, um, we we'll just have some no questions problem. for the, the boys and girls, I'm sure. Thank you for showing us around the food bank. It's amazing, all the different types of food and all the rest of it. So can you tell the boys and girls, do they need to be scared if they need to come, or, or embarrassed if they need to come to a food bank? Absolutely not. I mean, as I said prior, that anybody at all can find themselves in a situation where they would need help with food. So there's no reason at all to feel embarrassed or afraid. And we, we do usually run a drop-in centre as well, so you can just come for a coffee and a chat if you wanted to, but there's no reason at all to feel embarrassed about it. So what, you can get more help than just getting food? You can, yes, you can. You, we do normally serve, um, you know, um, biscuits and tea and coffee and there's other um, places, organisations that do serve food on a daily basis. So you can, you can go for lunch if you wanted to, as well as obviously the food bank if, if you do need food at all. Oh, amazing. And so if, if, I know our food bank's open on a Thursday, mm -hmm. but how would um, families or the boys and girls find out about the other food banks in Sunderland? They can, they can look online and there will be a website that tells them obviously, um, you know, where to find food banks that are open in the local areas. Um, and also just, just ringing people like the, the councils can also tell you and anywhere that can refer you would tell you a list of food banks, the Civic Centre, um, you know, doctor surgeries, they would they should know exactly where the food banks are as well because they are referrers. And so do you buy all this food yourself? No, we don't buy the food ourselves. We do get a lot of donations from the very generous people within the community. Um, and also we use a company called Trussell Trust and they do supply food that we are running out of as well. Oh, that's amazing. Well, thank you for everything that you do with the food bank. And I'll put some information up, boys and girls, for anyone else who needs to know about the food banks in Sunderland. Now, I'm stuck here and I need to do some magic. So, so Kimberly, I wonder if you can help me. I'm going to say that I'm going to ask the boys and girls to say that. The, the magic word this time is we're going to say three, two, one, home, and they're going to say it really loudly, and that should hopefully transport me and my computer back home. So, are we ready? So, boys and girls, get ready. So, really loudly three, two, one, home. 
Whoa. Thank, thanks, guys, for uh, helping with your magic words. They obviously worked. And back home, um, Food Bank was really great. Kimberly and the team there spend a lot of time helping people in need. Well, Jesus had some things to say about helping people in need, and I just want to share those with you quickly now. Jesus said many wonderful things and did many wonderful things, but one of the most important things he said was this, love your neighbour as you love yourself. Now, Jesus doesn't mean just to love the people who live next door to you or who sit next to you in the classroom. Rather, he meant you need to love people, everyone, because they're really special, just as you are really special, as all of us are really special. And one of the ways we can love people is by feeding them, by giving them food. And that's really important to remember at harvest time. And it's one of the reasons Christians love to run food banks. It's a really good way of loving our neighbours. Now, our food bank in Pennywell, which we had a tour around, um, is open every Thursday, 1 to 3 p.m. But there are loads and loads of other food banks in Sunderland, and there's always a food bank open somewhere in Sunderland so that anyone in need can get food. Maybe one of the ways you could love your neighbour is by telling anyone who's hungry about the food bank. And you can find out more about where these food banks are by going to sunderland.foodbank.org.uk. It has all the details and can show you how to get a voucher and all the rest of it. So what have we learned today? Well, we've learned harvest as a time to say thank you. Thank you for all the food and goodness that comes our way. When pe we also found out that when people are hungry, there is help in our communities via the food bank, via the council, loads of different ways of accessing food. We learned also that Jesus taught his followers to love God and to love everyone else as well. And one way Christians like to do that is by running food banks, among many other things. I've got a challenge for you, a harvest challenge. And if you manage this, ask your teacher to email me. I'd love to hear what you've been doing. So this harvest time, can you try and love others? And it could be anyone. Maybe your way of loving others could be to donate to the food bank or to the Samaritans or to wherever. Or maybe it could be helping other people know where they can get help. It could be as simple as being kind to someone who is feeling hurt or going to sit with someone in the playground who is feeling lonely. Because all of those things are loving your neighbour as yourself. So I wonder if you could do that as well. Now, before we finish our, our assembly today, we're just going to have a time of prayer. Now, as always, you don't need to take part if you don't want to, but I do ask everyone to bow their heads and close their eyes. And if you agree with the prayer, why don't you say Amen at the end? So let us pray. Dear God, thank you for all the food we collect at harvest time. Thank you for all those who help provide enough food so that we don't go hungry. Please protect those who are hungry and help us love one another. Amen. Well, thank you, boys and girls, for all your help today. And I'll see you next time. But before I do, all this magic has given me a really good idea. Three, two, one. Bermuda! <gasps>